Hey guys, I am here today looking a little bit fancier than normal. Well, not normal, I would say. When I do my YouTube videos, I don't really care like what I'm wearing and I feel like I should at least put a little bit more effort than I normally do because I dress like this on a daily basis. Like before the quarantine, if I was going to work, if I was going to the park, it didn't matter. I dressed like this, okay? I put on the lipstick. I had the earrings and everything done. Um, my edges don't ever stay down. I have edge control, but they don't stay down. Like, they literally don't stay down. I got the brushes. I got the little toothbrush thing. Everything. Nothing works, okay? <laughs> so I don't even fight with it anymore. But um, the least I do is just put on something cute, put on some earrings, lipstick, and... Uh, draw my eyebrows on <laughs> anyway this is gonna be a video talking about the time that i was recognized on instagram by tyra banks and she followed me and she was asking about this painting that i did for her i'm gonna get into it so it's gonna make more sense the the further in we get into the video so it starts off January 2017. That was when I did the painting. And I was also doing it because it, I was a senior at the time in high school. And I really wanted to do some compelling artworks for the senior art show. Um, every year, the high school that I went to hosts a senior year art exhibit. And um, yeah. So that was like kind of my motivation and it was around my birthday. So like January is my birth month. So I posted it on Instagram and I tagged her and it was the time that it had won an award. So I had won the Scholastic Art Award uh, silver medal for that piece. And it was the first, like, award that I've ever gotten on my artwork and the first award that I got that wasn't related to the school exactly. So I was so happy about that because I hadn't really won anything. I wasn't really used to winning anything growing up. I just wasn't that kind of a lucky girl. Um, so I was really proud of that. And I really wanted her to have it because I knew that when I was going to college, I couldn't leave it where i couldn't leave it home like where it was so i had to get rid of it like it was it was for one it was just too big and i wanted her to have it because it was of her so i wanted it to be for her and i was just trying my best to get her attention so i was like commenting on her photos and stuff she saw it and then she went to my page she visited i've got the little screenshots of what happened and she asked me if it was for sale i replied yes <laughs> like yeah of course and she didn't follow up with me right away so I started messaging her again like DMing her um here's my email things like that because I didn't know if it was exactly her or if it was one of her social media managers I think she manages her Instagram herself now maybe not back then but now now I, I definitely think she does and this was right around the time when there was like a new season and she was starting off with hosting America Got Talent. So I was thinking, you know what, maybe she's just really busy. So let me just put in a little bit more effort. And I did, and I did get a response directly through email. I got directions, I got an address, and it was from a representative named Ellen, kind of funny. And this Ellen person was, representing her and they were like yeah just send it over but i asked them about pricing because i knew she said she asked me is it for sale but they didn't respond to me regarding anything about like offering a price or how much would you like to sell it for it wasn't anything like that in the conversation but because i was in a rush to like get rid of it i i was like you know what? i don't even care i'm just gonna send it because as long as she has it that will be pretty yeah, I don't know. I've got I've kind of got mixed feelings about whether or not a celeb a celebrity should get something for free, but and and also because artists we all know like we've got this stereotype of artists being starving artists, so I don't know. But at the time I was like, you know, what? I don't care as long as she has it. That's all that matters. And I was hoping that I could 
at least see a picture of her wearing it. Um, I mean, not wearing it. A picture of her pose with it or something. Anyway, I sent it and it was under $20, I believe. Um, I, I, uh, I have like mixed emotions parting from it. It's, it's really weird when an artist does their work and they're really attached to it and really proud of it. I thought about it a lot. I kind of missed the painting for a while. Um, now I've gotten over it because I could paint it all over again, honestly, and I could honestly do better than I did back then. But at the time, I was just really missing it, and I hadn't heard back from her or the representative. And then weeks later, I was like, did you guys get it? And then she was like, yeah, she really loves it. I'm like... I, great. I was just hoping that I'd get some sort of like, I don't know. I was just hoping that I would at least see her with the piece or see her post something related to it. Like, hey, I just got it. I love it. You know, something like that. Just a little bit more legitimate and convincing because I did pay to send it, but I didn't get any of that kind of satisfaction. But she did follow me on Instagram and she followed me for about a year. And then when she unfollowed, I was kind of like heartbroken. I was like, oh my God, I'm not significant anymore. But I noticed that that same day she had she had unfollowed about 300 people all at once. So I was like, you know what? I think it was just a part of the management. I think they were just doing a clean sweep or whatever um modifying her account or something and they just randomly unfollow people i don't know who knows i don't know so i was like you know what it's no big deal it's whatever because i have tons of pictures i have videos of it so i'm like that's enough for me because you know what would what would really make me sad as an artist is if i did a art piece and i put so much effort and then i lost it if I didn't even have a picture of it, I'd be kind of sad. Like I have artwork from, from when I was really small that I remember doing and doing very well, but I don't have it anymore and I don't have a picture and it's just in my mind. And I'm like, it's like, it's like a figment of my imagination or something. It's like this blurry memory and I wish I could recreate it. But because I have pictures of that, it doesn't really bother me as much. Take a whole bunch of good quality pictures so that if anything happens to it, you know, you could recreate it or you could maybe make a print. Um, like, I could do that if I wanted to. Anyway. Anyway, so that that's what happened. And there's not really much else to the story. Yeah, there's there's not much else to it. I'm trying to think if there's an, I don't think I missed anything. Well, also when she did like, like and everything and she followed, I remember everybody in school was like, hey, Tyra, like literally my nickname became Tyra. And I was already like obsessed with her. Like I was always watching, I was binge watching America's Next Top Model. That was my show, okay? That was my show. I have been watching that for so long and I grew up like idolizing her. Like I loved her her okay she was just such a role model to me and ever since I saw life size that was like the first time I was like in love with Tyra Banks I was like oh my gosh she's so awesome and that's when I became a fan of her and then I just anything that had to deal with her I just loved her I just thought she was fabulous I'm not a Barbie fan but I was a Tyra fan but yeah that's that's the story so um yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.